ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the final series of the night as we're looking to send one more team through to Championship Sunday. So I'm joined by Alligator Swords. We have Cryus Gaming in orange taking on Team NVS in blue. And it should be a good one, although we heard from Skyline earlier. He already called it. It's going to be Cryus in seven. But you know what? We'd like to go through. We don't just read the scripts. I don't actually even read them when people send it to me. I have an inbox full of unread messages. I'm sure that's where all the gigs are sitting at, but I think it's going to be a good one. As we mentioned earlier on in the show, this is a rematch. Envious won 3-1 in round four of Swiss yesterday, but it is a new day, a different battle, and Cryos are going to be looking to get revenge for that loss. Hot take, this is going to game seven, Gator. Cryos is going to take it, but 30 seconds gone. NVS starting out strong here. As Cryos Gaming left off the back end here on the get go, we see the demo come through, and about 40 seconds through here, and Cryos Gaming facing some immense pressure early. And Nation, I think the last series really showed how important getting that hot start and getting those early leads are. I mean, when when we saw the Kool-Aid men score early, I mean, they won. And usually, with the exception of one game, usually fairly securely. But when they didn't get the goal, it just kind of all went south for them. It went pear-shaped quick. I would not be surprised to see if there were some similarities here. If you get a hot start, that you're going to be able to carry that hot hand. Throughout the first minute, though, we are seeing a lot of these shots, a lot of pressure coming in from Envious, but the defense and the early challenges from Cryos have been up to the task. For sure, not a minute 20 gone now. No early goals in the early frame, Gators. Something we love to see here. We want to see a close game and a close series. So both these teams have mutual respect for each other. This would be a really tight one, and I think we're about to be in for a really long series. It's going to come down to the wire. Right, and we were made aware that the teams were studying replay reviews from yesterday's series, which is good. You like to see the preparation. You like to see that extra effort coming in. And just showing that to be the players care about this matchup. It's not just like a casual, all right, get on, let's go. But they are looking forward to it and trying to find these paths towards victory, trying to find these advantages to take games and take situations off of their opponents. And in the first half of the game, we're starting to see it shift a little bit back and forth. Some more pressure coming in from Cryus. Still have not found a goal, but if neither has their opponents either, they are getting closer to knocking that door down. It's Grand Circa on the points on the line here, Cater, and Inc. is going to strike first. NVS Esports on the board early in the first frame, 2.43 to go, and Gats gets a beautiful aerial pass out to Inc., and he just slots it for the opening lead. Yeah, Cello waiting on the back wall, I believe to be low on boost. Yeah, zero in the tank while trying to defend that goal. So not the most enviable position to be in, but if you're on the offense, certainly it's an envious one. They do hold on to that lead, or they get that lead. Still have the game to go. It's been fairly bounced. It has very much a uh, Game 1 vibe to me, if you ask me, Nation. I agree 100%. I mean, I think Game 1's all about filling your opponents out, and we see double demo come through there, but... Cryos Gaming, again, are just not able to capitalize off of a 3v1, and Chilla had an opportunity to double tap that, but just couldn't slot it down, and we see Phelps in the back corner here, taking his time on the back end, and two minutes to go, it's still within one, and now Cryos Gaming get back on the offensive. I really like the physical nature of these teams, too. The Chilla was trying to get that aerial play, but it got bumped by Getz. Even on the next follow-up on offense, you saw two members of Cryos Gaming upfield looking to try to remove the opposition rather than work their way around them. And that's When you can get that kind of game style going, it usually proves to be effective. The problem is you do have to commit rather heavily to making it happen. But so far, it has not panned out nor really bit them in the rear too much. As we still stay at the 1-0 with 95 left in game one. Minute 34 to go. Shot from Phillips here. It might be an own goal. That's off the crossbar again from a teammate. 90 seconds left in NPS. I might think the lucky stars on that one. The musty touch there, and it's cut wide by Phillips. Yeah, that last defensive stand, I don't think that's one that they were too terribly comfortable with, but they kept it out on the net. They hold on to the advantage. And they will get back onto defense for now. Velops for the infield pass. Nobody there. Chilla stays cool in the middle. But it is going to get popped up. Gets with the read. TKD back over to Inc. Who's going to slow it down? Phillips gets enough on it to deny the 1-2-3 play. The quick switch up from Extra Alex that was going to give away possession. And Envious right back up on offense looking for their second. Looking for that cushion. Big clear there for Cryos Gaming. But it's taken wide by TKD here. And... 45 seconds to go. Cryos Gaming has got to find a strike here. Now Phillips, slippery set, gets across one, gets in front of the goal line. This one dangerous, but Extralix 
cleared away back towards Chillier's Christ Gaming Gator still maintain possession in the blue half and it's sent high but NPS's defense stands tall had yeah, it's needed to do so is that it has certainly switched up Christ doing well to keep on to pressure as well keep on to possession and not go back too terribly long they've had to retreat back onto defense but it hasn't been too bad now this is going to be a nice little one but Chilla can't get the wrap around very deliberate play from the offense but it still will not pay dividends. Five seconds left. They're going to need it quick. The 50 is going to prove to be disastrous all the way over. But Velops, a full boost, has the ball banging it upfield. Gets will not make contact up. Early extra. Alex looking to keep it alive. But it is going to go off to the side. Envious 1-0 in game one. Envious take game one. Christ Gaming start down 0-1. And we see a pretty close battle here in game one. I mean, five shots for Envious, six at a Cryos. So, I mean, a one-shot difference. But Envious... Again, they're, those shots, they lost in the shot category, but they still won by that one goal. So, I mean, I think we're going to be in for a pretty long series and something that's going to be a pretty, pretty close game. And game one is just the, the start of something special here. Right. I do like what Cryos have been going for. With their, the avenues of offense that they have elected to take are generally ones that work out. It's not like they've just been flinging it around to try to get something to go. No, it's been calculated. They've been going for some of these more effective angles from the air. They've been going for some of these passing plays. They've been going for lead blocking plays, only in game number one. But the difference, as you mentioned, was just one goal, and that's because Envious did so well to sniff those plays out and to get those challenges up early, not lose their head, lose their cool. And strike when it mattered most for them, a 1-0. It might take a little bit more in game number two. I anticipate it will as the teams continue to get more and more into the groove. But Forbidden Temple, this may make or break it. We'll be looking at 2-0 or 1-1. Four minutes and 50 of play time from now. Cryos Gaming get on the board first here. Extralix finds the opener for Cryos in this series. 4.47 to go and Cryos Gaming up one early. If Chilla had a clutch bump on TKD, rotating back the other way. There's nobody there specifically because he sought out the defender, sniffed it, said, hey, I have an idea. I can make this a little easier for my teammate, and it paid off fantastically. They are going to get possession again immediately after, and Chilla is going to be up a TKD <coughs> up early and wants to get that recompense for getting booted out of the way in that last one. It's game two, a much more telling story than we just watched in game one. Cryos Gaming... Getting the series started here, a double flip reset out of Chilla, just couldn't finish it off in Extralix, putting it right back in the hands of Chilla here in Cryos Gaming, right back on offense. They are swarming, I mean, absolutely all over it. Even their player that has been back in the midfield, Extralix had a slightly different one with Chilla respawning. They've been very eager to go for these challenges, akin to what Kool-Aid men were doing in the previous match, where even if they had the illusion of room, they were covering ground immediately. And we're seeing that up, at least in the offensive zone, from this Christ Gaming team. Now, if they can hold on to it and keep it going, that is also going to be probably a good sign for them. It's so far two total goals scored. We've seen several more demos, though, too, in the last ten frames, I swear. 3.41 on the clock to go here. Bellops now off the sidewall here. About a minute and a half gone. The musty. It's on target, but it's going to be cleared wide by Ink. And 90 seconds off the clock. And Cryos Gaming in the first minute and a half is putting on one outstanding performance here. They just put in on so much pressure. Like you mentioned earlier, they were swarming the NVS defense with a barrage of attacks. Yeah, they've just been very quick to it. They're playing a lot more calmly than they did in game number one. Even it wasn't too frenetic by any means, but you can see the deliberateness. You can see the intent behind their rotations and behind their touches. Velops in particular, we see them get a goal here, which is huge. It's warranted, but I've really been impressed with their play here in game two. It's been a big step up from game one. Big step up indeed. Three minutes left to go, and this is a completely different game than we just saw in game one. Christ Gaming came out front foot swinging here in game two and the results are showing here dividends are paying off and NPS just can't find their footing here in game two and this aggression has just been huge like I mean there's and now 3-0 Velops is going to get another one here a demo actually coming from Ink taking out one of the players extra Alex respawning just in time to see the fish flop this is not I expected to see a bounce back nation I'm not going to lie I did not expect to see three goals in about two minutes of play yeah and it Cryos, just like you mentioned, the swarm, and it's NVS just has no answer once they get pressured hard on defense, and 
Christ Gaming just knows how to penetrate when they need to, and they put on a third goal here, getting that insurance goal pretty intact now in game two. Now he's going to run this clock out and play Texas Rock League for the next two and a half minutes. Now, I'm going to actually disagree with you on that one. I don't think you take the foot off the pedal. I think you keep going. You don't want to take away everything. You don't want to blow your offensive load here too early in the series. But I think you do want to instill this mentality of, hey, we gave you game number one. We're going to come back with not just a haymaker, but we're going to knock you out in a single stroke. Like they came out swinging, Gator. I mean, they, they're up 4-0 here in the first frame, and NBS are scoreless here in the opening half. And TKD... Trying to find the first for NVS. A long clear comes through for Cryos Gaming. Now NVS right back in trouble in their own half. Yeah, they're trying to get that pass too. Getz was trying to get it over to Ink. But Chilla immediately on it. And that's really emblematic of the difference from game number one. Just quicker to these challenges to these cuts. And not letting anything develop for NVS. Getz trying to wrap it around pass develops. They're doing what they can. Envy is starting to get up onto offense a little bit more, but still have not been able to generate the opportunities that we saw previously. Ink trying to dish it to TKD, but couldn't quite get the angle on it. So still scoreless, still looking for something. We got just under two minutes to do so, but Christ, I mean, they're feeling good. They're going to be trying to keep this going and keep their own momentum going forward into game three. For sure, I think and yes, at this point, Mike is going to chalk this game up and Look ahead to game three with a clean slate at 0 0 as game two was just absolutely taken control of by Cryos Gaming. And it's 4 0, 90 seconds left. I don't see the score changing at all in favor of NBS here. So I think it might just be time to look forward to game three and try to make adjustments and get back on top. In nation, to, uh, to steal a line from my fr good friend, all of our good friend, whoops you. What's the worst going to happen? You lose by more? <laughs> it's just time to start experimenting. I mean, we don't keep track of the game. I mean, I take the notes on the scores, but we don't keep track of that in terms of the bracket. You got a minute and a half if you're envious. Just bing, bang, sling, song, see the ball, touch the ball, loosen up, have that little bit of fun for the next 80 seconds. Why not? What do you have to lose? You have nothing to lose here, and I mean, you get blown out either way, so really nothing to lose if you're an NBS fan, but... Your squad's got to find something soon and kind of figure out what's going to work here because you can't go into game three without a plan. And we're already entering that getting close to the back half of this series and Cryos Gaming, if this continues and they take complete control, NBS might more look like I'm in trouble. Yeah, well, Inks going to get a nice little save there. Chilla denied twice as <laughs> Gets picking up one as well. As Chilla has also stepped it up. We saw the only goal of game number one was <laughs> unfortunate from Chilla's POV as they were at zero boost on the back wall done a lot better to be into more favorable boost situations here throughout game number two that has not been the only difference don't get me wrong but a good example of how things are just have been cleaner for Christ in game two and it's just worked out so well to their advantage but we're gonna head into game three here shortly where it is gonna go back to nil nil we'll see how game two ends the final score but right now we got 15 seconds left to demo on the goal line that's just gonna be salt in the wound as the water falls down next year Alex will get that sixth 6 nil, 13 seconds to go, and Gator were guaranteed a game 5, but they win here for Cryus, and 13 seconds left. It's now 6 nil. Do we get a 7th? Uh, I don't know if we get a 7th. We'll see. The kickoff's going to be telling they do go for a traditional one. I was really curious to see if they were going to... I didn't think they were going to throw in, like, a Spanish or something, but do something a little kooky. Why not? But, hey, big step up, big difference. And while it may be 6-0, while it may be 7-0, it's still just going to be 1-1 one one heading into game number three. But look, if you're a fan of Cryus, this is what you want to see after they got held scoreless in the first game. And now you shut out NVS 7-0 here in game two. What a response after getting shut out in game one. Well, now the real question is, what's the trend? Is it going to be... 1-0 envious in the odd game. Is this going to be a geometric progression? Is it going to go one goal? Is it going to go seven and then to 13? Or are we going multiple? Is it going to be a 49 goal game? I don't think it's going to be that one. But there are potential trends heading into this next game. <laughs> game three coming right up. It's 1-1 in this series. If you're just now joining us, this is the last series of the night. Cryos Gaming lost 1-3 just last night in round four of the Swiss stage. NPS caught the W. Now they're right back here in a rematch, and Cryos Gaming is putting on one talented performance. Oh, they did. I mean, they really stepped it up, too. I mean, 15 shots. I mean, that's huge. They still had, I mean, a good out offensive output in game number one, but not to this extent. NVS, I mean, seven saves. So they were in position, 
they're just that little bit off. And Krius, once they got the gates open, they showed. This is why floodgates are a thing. This is why momentum is so much of a thing in Rocket League. Once those goals started coming, they did not stop coming. They just kept on running. And Krius, they're going to look to keep that momentum into game number three. And they're going to look to try and hold it open as long as they can. It's game three, getting ready to go underway here, Gator. Both teams shut out victories in this series. You gotta continue to put your best foot forward and make the correct adjustments to win this series. Now both teams three wins away from day three. Like I said, it is just going to go back to that nil nil. You said it as well, Nation. And when you get to this point in Rock League, you have to have that short memory. You gotta remember the things that went well, forget the things that went bad. Just keep playing your game, but keep moving forward. Envious, they got that win in game one. They know that they can win. It's just going to keep that mental locked in and not get into their heads after that dropping in game two. So 30 seconds in, into game number three, they are looking calmer. The rotations are looking cleaner. It looks like the 60 seconds between games did them some good. 425 to go NBS one of the teams here in Beals. Yes, they take the full 60 most of the time after every game. So I'm not shocked he took the full 60 there after a loss like that. 415 on the clock though, when you guys trying to find the answer back after a 7 nothing deficit loss. That's one thing I will say. I am nearly always in favor of teams taking the full 60 win or lose. And it looks like this is you know maybe a data point in my favor on that one. Excellent save on the goal line though for Cryus. Able to keep that out and keep us at that nil nil mark. As they're looking to try to get something going on offense, the loose ball will be won by Getz. Velops commits to it. DKD will have to throw on the brakes to collect, but he has possession of it. He gets it over extra Alex and gets the final bounce, drops the hammer for Envious. 3.45 to go, and Envious back on top here. Get the first goal. So they do find their first goal since game one. Grice Gaming, start down. They're going to have to follow that up. We're going to see if... Cryos are able to bounce back within one game, or if they're just going to win by 30 million to zero in game four. We do know that they can come back. They're going to get the demo on the back line. Phillips is actually going to go leak out of front, takes out TKD as well. But Getz is able to cut that off before it becomes two more disastrous. And actually, Getz, no, it's going to be scooped up by Chilla Inc. Is going to throw it into the three point turn, but it will not be able to find the second point for Envious. At least for now, it still stays in the offensive half, but for the moment, suddenly Envious, so much more aggressive here in the midfield, cutting off these plays before they can progress deep into the blue half at all, although Velops will just go over the top to force the issue. 303 left to go, and this is a wide open net here for Getz, but Cryus Gaming able to put the pressure on him and rotate back in time. Now three minutes on the clock to go, Gator. Cryus Gaming held score with so far, they gotta find a goal here. Even this one up right now, always seen a shutout so far in the series. It's got to feel weird, too. I mean, what, they had, like, 15 shots in game number two? They've had one shot so far, two shots now. <laughs> Make it three, why not add a couple more? But still, the offensive output has not been there. And it's showing that maybe it was just Envious caught off guard for a game. It happens in these series. But, Nation, that's why we play best of five, best of sevens. We play extended ones so that one game on its own is not the total difference maker in these brackets. Right, and I think, you know, when it gets to the longer parts of, you know, the game five and a best of five or a game seven and a best of seven like this, I think, you know, the basic mechanics of Broccoli come out of the window and it's about the mentality. And, you know, I think both these squads are very, very capable of destroying each other in a series like this. And I think it's really going to come down to who's just a better team at the, in, in one single game. I think this is a series where one single game might make the difference. Well, we'll get there when we get there right now. It is looking like the advantage is going to go back over to Envious just because the pace has gone down to what it looks like that they are more comfortable with. These a little bit slower affairs, lower scoring. They're going to get some nice opportunities here up on offense, but they're not going to panic. They're not going to full send everything. They are going for these safer touches and not letting it get too far past them. They're doing so well to hold on to possession. Once that pace picks up, it is certainly more in a crisis favor. But the more they're pinned on this back wall, the more difficult it's going to be for them to break out of their half. Minute 15 to go. Cryus Gaming still scoreless here. Now Chilla back downfield has Phillips waiting. 
back touch there, and it's a clear again for NVS here, and Inc. sending it forward, and Elkrius Gaming back on defense. They're going to face more pressure here, Gator, in the final minute. See if they can break through and maybe send that with a bit of a back pressure through it. Velops wants to take on the world. Will be challenged over the corner, but no, it's going to get the bounce pass, pass, but Chilla, I don't think, expected it. To be frank, I didn't either. We had two defenders there over in the net. The infield passing play will be scooped up by TKD, who is going to go for the slow play on it, which is smart. It does not just hand possession back to the Cryos defense. And now we are going to go back into the blue zone with 30 seconds. This will be interesting here to see if Cryos can get that pressure built back up. Back wall pass over to Chilla on target. Inc. picking up the save, but Chilla trying to cause a little bit of commotion on the back wall to try to open it up for their teammates. The TK Dade will not be able to get it. Chilla's going to have another one, a demo on the goal line to the bar, down and all tied up with 11 left. We finally don't have a shutout here, Gator. 1-1, one one, 11 seconds left. One's all the way across the scoreboard here as Cryus Gaming get on the board in the final 15 seconds. Yeah, Velop Sagat's going for the in and out, and he goes and just takes him out of the back of the net, and then more importantly had to get out of the way of the shot so that he didn't inadvertently save it, but we still have time to go, and it will be, at least for now, offense. Getz might have an angle, slow play, looking to get it up over to Ink, still live. This TKD playing into the corner, Velop's out. It is going to be challenged, maybe dead here, but no. Ink with the pop-up, extra Alex with the pop-down, Nation, we're going into overtime. OT, game three for a 2-1 series. Lead the next goal. Envy us off the kickoff. We'll put it right back in the Cryus corner. OTKD slow play. He's going to get extra Alex to bite on it, but he at least snags a tooth. He sends it off over to the midfield. The demo, Velops onto Inc. Velops a madman up on offense. If he's not scoring goals a la game two, he's certainly throwing a shoulder down to take it past the opposition. And he got Ink to come up on that one as well. Extra Alex looking for the pass from that corner. And gets up quickly. 30 seconds into overtime. Anybody's game nation. This one, no. It's going to be wide open. Ink from deep. And what looked like it might have been a longer overtime is going to end quickly. Velops aggressive on the challenge. Nobody home. And Ink just gets the wide open shot to win it for NVS. 2-1 to one in the series now. And I think, you know, TKD is applying so much pressure and just being a rat in the midfield. And I think that's really helping them out here in game three. We saw it as well in game one. Now Cryus Gaming's got to find a way to kind of get rid of the midfield pressure that's built by TKD and the rest of NVS to really win this series in Cryus Gaming. Unfortunately, it falls just short here in, in overtime. It's, well, let's see if they're able to keep this going too. We, and as noted, game number one, a one nil victory for NVS. Game two, seven nil for Cryus. And then now two one in overtime. So when it's close, it tends to go to Envious' favor, but <laughs> that's the thing, is they have to keep it close. Once it starts getting away from them, it's looking to be a little difficult to get that horse back in the barn. So as we head into game number four, that's going to be kind of forefront in my mind, heading into it. Is it going to be that back-and-forth action that we see so often in these series between evenly matched teams? Or are Envious going to be able to keep this pace under control and keep them in the driver's seat of the game. Well, NVS has control of this series right now. It's 2-1, to one, and Cryus Gaming had a big win. Both of NVS's wins were within one. So, I mean, goal differential is probably four, I think, believe, for Cryus. But we're headed to game four here. This should be another close one. I think a lot of these games should be hopefully close. These seems like you said, are very evenly matched. So, I think we're in for a good back half here. But Cryus Gaming have got to make the correct adjustments. All of Nation did. I did check the numbers. It is plus five in favor of Cryus in terms of score differential. We do have ink coming into the game, so everything's good there. It was a little bit of hesitation for the second, but uh, Nation, I'm not going to lie. If I hear anything about a net scoring differential, you know I'm a Vikings fan. I'm just going to ignore it entirely. So what matters <laughs> is who wins games right now. Envious are finding ways to win. That's what matters. They're up in the series. We're back in on defense early in game number four, and it is going to arc in from Chilla to strike blood first. 442 to go. Chilla and Christ gaming on the board first at net score back at six. <laughs> Just batted around there in front of the net, too. It just happens from time to time. And eventually, is going to arc in for Christ to get on it. And actually, coming off the cheat, Chill is going to slow play. Maybe an off speed, but Getz is going to read Velops at the follow through. And I think some chicanery from Christ trying to change it up a little bit. 
We'll yeah, I really like that, to be honest. Trying to catch the defense off guard with something a little bit different. Extra Alex trying to hunt for the demo in the midfield, too. The enemy is able to dodge it, bring their way back up onto offense, and trying to stay unrattled here early. It does not look like they've been shaken, but they still have not been able to find the back of the net yet, albeit it's only been a minute in. About a minute in here. Here comes TKD downfield in the one-on-one. -on -one. Can't finish it off. That goes off the post. The rebound's there, though. Double touch will not connect as Velops gets a long clear forward and resets the rotation. Man, I feel for TKD there. He had the beat and he had the pre-flip over into position, but he just could not get enough unreal units over to the side to get the touch on target on net. It was, that would, it was so clean, but it did not get that last bit of grime off the end. So still down in the deficit for now, but things are looking good for Envious. Even if they are down, they're getting these passing plays. They're not getting overwhelmed and they're just keeping clean with the rotations as well. Some more boomer ball, boomer ball starting to break out here. The full length of the pitch getting used, but not necessarily in a possessed way. 318 to go. Cryus Gaming still up by one here. NPS trying to answer back and respond. But the Cryus Gaming offense doing all they can to put the pressure on. Like you mentioned in game two when they were in a blowout. Keep pushing on. Do not put, take your foot off the pedal whenever I said to run the clock out here and Cryus Gaming, although they're up one, they need to put on another one and get the insurance goal intact. Oh, absolutely. Once you get up two, that's where it starts getting more comfortable. If you can get up three, I mean, then you're feeling good. But still, I, I do like the mentality of you keep the dogs on. You don't worry too much about it. You worry about getting some of these nice passing plays. Ink and Gets connect. So we're going to take another look at that quick. Is Inks with the challenge on the sidewalk. Chilla is going to get that initial clear, but Getz was waiting for a pass from Ink anyway, and is going to drop it right back into the basket, all tied up. 1-1. One, one. We're all tied here in game four. 2.45 to go. It's NBS. Tie things up here after starting down 1-0 in the early half here, and now they're making the right adjustments in the back half. They're going to make it 2-1 maybe, and the defense comes up clutch as we're still tied at one all. Yeah, this, I mean, this even looks like a different NBS. Obviously, they're up in the series, but they look like they're playing with more confidence. Even They're not as aerially flashy as Cryos are. They, the mechanics are certainly there, but they're playing that solid level of Rocket League, and that is working out in their favor. But sometimes the angles of the bounces work the opposition as well. Achilla retaking the lead after Extra Alex. If you get the first demo on the opponent, Inc. had to dodge another demo attempt, but it still would have been a difficult save to make regardless. Difficult save indeed, and that was a tough shot there from the corner as well. And it finds its way in the back of the net there by Chilla for a 2-1 and lead. Now an ink from the corner shot just off the post as NVS remained down one, and now Cryus Gaming back in possession. And just blasted that back wall nation. I, I don't know how the sponsorship talk situation are coming. I don't know if we can afford to repair too much of the archite architecture. It's too nice of a stadium. It's too nice of the passes. Chilla popping off three goals a Hattie with less than two minutes to go in game at number four. So looking to get that equalizer again, a pop off from Chilla. Chilla again coming in clutch here for Cryus, picking up the hat trick in the third minute of play here. Now minute 50 on the clock to go. NBS has got to put on two in the final minute 45 be difficult too they've scored you know three goals in three games now a fourth here in game number four obviously the game not having completed yet but we have not seen huge offensive outputs from this envious squad it has been more of that slower pace more deliberate play unless we see this start to open up here for cryas which it's starting to trend that way up to with less than 90 to go Chilla is looking to make it a third. He's going to go for that little bit of finesse. But the door is going to be shut by Ink. But the pressure has not gone away just yet. Cries are still hunting, whether for the ball or whether for demos. Back pass comes through, though. Chilla and now NVS comes off the ceiling here as Guts. Looking for the opportunity, but it's going to be taken wide by the defender here. A minute to go. And we see the 50-50 roll through there for Cryus Gaming. And this clock starting to run out here on NVS. Yeah, Chrysler just getting pumps on the players, too. Not even on the ball. This one is going to go high. It was a little bit of hold-your-breath moment, at least from the angle I was viewing it. It's still safe for the Chrysler defense, but they're starting to get back to that faster nature. They're getting over to a kick. They, well, I think they wanted a pinch there, which would have been an interesting time to go for it, but kind of shows the mentality, mentality that they're feeling, they're feeling good with 30 seconds left, Nation. 
gotta be feeling good at this point. I mean, you're up to 30 seconds left, and let's see letting some magic happen here. You're in a pretty good position to at least send this to a game six for the first time in the night, and a long clear, but Inc. able to recover in time. 20 seconds to go. This possession for NBS has got to turn to a goal. Yeah, and <laughs> under this one, it's getting closer and closer to being washed, and heading into game four, I mean, if you're, or heading into game five, my apologies, if you're envious, you gotta start taking a look at what's been going on on the pitch and what's been kind of opening it up a nation if you ask me it's just been the demos of cryus they have taken out the envious midfield over and over and over again and i think they just need to have their head on a swivel a little bit quicker i agree i mean i think envious they came out swinging in game one and game three and now we're here in game four and cryus giving both their wins are by large margins so I mean, you, if they can get out to a good start Cryus Gaming is in full control of this series, and this is, this is going to be their game to win, and now NBS has got to find the right adjustments and find the holes in the defense. Here comes TKD, cannot get the goal as Cryus Gaming take it 4-1. I think Ink was ready to deny him. I'm going to be out of the way. The way Ink was up for it, I think he was trying to cut him off just to be goofy. Why not? Have some fun with it. <laughs> what do I know? Either way, Cryus, they're bouncing back, and they're finding ways to do it here in the even matches. We're heading into game number five, so hence odd. I would be inclined to pick Envious, but it's really going to come down to, as mentioned, that speed of the play. Once Cryus starts scoring, I mean, it's with the exception of game three, it really starts opening up for this Orange Trio. 100%. And now we're guaranteed game six. So longest series of the night now, and Chilla, the hat trick, in the opening three minutes here. Three goals, and he's got two saves on four shots. A so pretty good performance out of Chill, and he gets a good performance out of Villops on the two assists, and Extralix with the uh, lone goal there for Cryus. So, I mean, pretty good performance out of all three of them, but they got to keep it up and continue this pressure in game five. Yeah, and I think it's just keeping moving in the midfield. As mentioned, the demos for Cryus have been so strong, and it's just Envious have been playing that deliberate style. That's the problem with playing with that is if you start removing pieces of the puzzle, you can't finish the picture. If you're playing more fluidly, you're less likely to get demoed, but it does mean you have to change that up a little bit. If the pass isn't there immediately, you need to keep moving. Otherwise, somebody, Envelops or Extra Alex, especially have been hunting that midfield to try to get some scraped paint on their way back for their own boost hunts. 451 to go. Chilla back out to Extralix here. Cryus Gaming on the opening half of offense here. And good possession. First frame out of Cryus Gaming. Good NVS, a long clear. And now Getz and Crew has possession. And TKD will try to wrap it around, but can't quite get caught up to it. So back the other way we go. TKD is going to get Velops out in the midfield as well. Trying to switch back a little bit now. Ink looking to be a little bit fancy. Take it on the world. Try to drop it down mid, but Velops on the respawn is going to be able to get that one back deep. And so we will remain scoreless here. 45 seconds in the lob up, up. Over to Ink. The 50 is going to go in favor. And Chilla trying to get the clear out. TKD will not be able to get the touch. Ink just full sent trying to find a body to hit. But alas, it will lie out there in the midfield. And we will remain scoreless here a minute in, Nation. Scores in the first minute. It's now Cryus Gaming. We've seen them get scored on there. And gets, gets the opener. For NVS, now it's 1 0. 354 to go in Christ Gaming, down one. If anybody is looking for an example of a good infield pass, that is picture perfect with Ink coming up along that sidewall. Getz was still not even across the midfield line when Ink got that pass off, but lasers it and puts it right on target. A great start for NVS right after the one minute mark. Now, the problem is, is they're going to have to hold on to this and not allow it. Here, op their opponents not allow Cryus to get onto the board too quickly, lest they let that momentum start building. 3:37 to go here in Inc. Continuing the pressure here for NBS and gets now in the corner. Plenty of boost work with you off the sidewall. Starting to air here, looking to send it down. Gets to 50, but Chilla keeps it out of play, and that one falls through. TKD makes it 2-0. Had just fallen through, just a couple of missed touches on defense. It dropped down in front of the net. We saw the in and out attempt coming in from extra Alex, but just a little underneath TKD finding the room to drop the hammer. And NVS strike, and they get a second goal. And actually, the first time this series, they've gotten multiple goals in regulation. That's crazy to look at. This is game five. It's the first time we've gotten two goals in regulation for NVS. We, see, we know the net count is somewhere in the highly positive surprise gaming in this series. So, I mean, NVS 
technically really behind in this series in terms of goal count, but this series is all tied. Oh, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> I'll run the numbers here quick. I mean, we're coming into this game, it was a 12 to 4 advantage for goals in favor of Cryos. Now 12 to 6. So, I mean, they're doubling up on offense. But as we mentioned, we just talked about games one. <laughs> so, that's why we're still here tied. They're finding ways to win. It are envious, even if it involves a couple of demos, finding some holes on offense, even if they have to create it themselves. TK8 finding some finesse. Anka's going to come through with the cleanup after that bump, but Velops clearing it, picks up the save, and trying to solo 1v3 against Envious as well. Actually, might work out fairly well. Actually, Alex can't quite find the angle, though. And so the 2 0 lead stands. Now, Velops in center field. Looks like that replay review before this series really working out for NBS right now. They're up 2 0 in this game five. Looking to go on match point here, Gator, with a win. And it's a big shot there. It's off the. It's going to go through, actually. Chilla, I thought that was going to be off the crossbar. It looked a little high, but Chilla gets the first goal of the game here for Cryus Gaming. Yeah, I agree. I thought that was a little bit high, too. I'm surprised it didn't even bounce. It just didn't even scrape the top of the net. The placement just great from Chilla. As Cryus find their way in, and but oh, kickoff almost proving disastrous, but it will not be sent in by Ink. So, one goal game, two minutes left. Nation, it's gonna be time for Cryus to break the streak of winning only in the even games because if it's a best of seven series, they gotta win at least one odd game to find their way into championship Sunday. 100% agree. I mean, I think this series, like I mentioned before, we started, you know, game seven esque kind of series here in a Cryus gaming. Back within one, both these teams very evenly matched. I wouldn't be shocked to see either of these two teams give Kool-Aid men a run for their money tomorrow night, but both of these squads just very, very talented in their own, and all six of these players deserve a chance to at least compete tomorrow, but one of these teams we have to send home. Still, hopefully, we'll have uh, two and a half games to go <laughs> with game number five. Still 75 seconds left, only one goal. It will be a 1v1 in the orange half for the moment. Gets is going to see Ink coming, racing up from the side, looking for the waterfall pass. Will not be able to get it past the umbrella of Phillips. TKD is going to go for the catch. He's going to get the flick as well. One more touch for good measure. And NVS Esports now three goals with more than a minute left in game number five. It's wild to say that this is their, by far their strongest offensive output, but still, they're, they're clicking when they need to. TKD coming online in this series, 102 to go, and he's making his presence known for Cryus Gaming here, and they got to find an answer back. They're, oh, I was going to find it, but Ink is going to get just enough on a TKD as well on the on shot from Extra Alex. That defense for Envious, if they're starting to click like that and find these quick rotations, and especially get it into transitions and counters this quickly, that could be very dangerous for Cryus if this continues into the next game. 100%. I mean, you go down a match point and after a loss like this, it's got to be tough to pull yourself out of that mentally with the team. So, I mean, 45 seconds left. you got to try to find one, two more for the road here and have some positive momentum moving forward to game six down in the series in your last life in the night. So, I mean, Bellops and crew have got to find something here quick. Almost did. I was holding my breath. I thought they were going to see one go in. 30 seconds. I mean... I feel safe calling it for Envious here. I would not be surprised to see one more coming in. Just like, nope, maybe not like that. The defense for Envious clutching up huge. The Nation, I'm not going to lie, I do anticipate Cryus bouncing back in this next game. They, they've just been too resilient, too rubbery. They just need to continue it for a couple of games and not have these gaps in between. They need to get to seven, get to game number seven before they can think about winning game number seven. Well, there's one. Six seconds to go. Cryus back within two. But six seconds is, is it enough time? It is. It's actually more. You only need like three seconds, two or three seconds, I think, to pull it off. I will eat my words gladly because there's a reason I don't call things that early. But with that cleared off to the side, it will be too much off the clock. And so, potentially a 4 2. Actually, this one will be on target. 4 2 for Envious. In game number five, they move themselves on to match point. As Getz might be a little bit over eager, dropped into cheese and immediately NVM. So, that's <laughs> a, uh, you know, everybody will keep on the uh, the same page. We still, Envious, you gotta win one more before you can call it a night. One more before they can call it a night. And the Cryos Gaming down 3 2 now in the series on their last life. Envious 
on match point. One win away, and they'll be through to Championship Sunday. This will be huge. I think the beginning of this match in Neo Tokyo, the first time we've seen it tonight, the neon everywhere. They need to start off strong. They can't let anything up because we we know we if we've seen it from Cryus that once they get goals on, they start rolling. We saw it in the previous series that when teams score early, they tend to score often. Now, if Envious can figure that out, get it going for themselves, that'd be pretty impressive. I'd be I, I want to see Game 7, Nation. That's that's what I'm asking for. So do I. I think we're going to get it eventually this week and hopefully, but this is a series definitely to do it. Both these teams so evenly matched. I would expect a Game 7 here at Cryos Gaming. Got to pull things together here in Game 6 as the defensive NVS get tested early here, Gator, with the Cryos offense. Got to make these shots count. They have to. They're, they're using the back wall and the backboard to try to get these passes. The Envious have, as the series has gone, Envious has gotten better at holding onto the real estate. They're not letting Cryos come in and just plant their flag and claim that ground, but instead they're making them fight for it, and that is proving to be a difference maker. Right now we're still scoreless going back the other way. Develops needs to get it past Ink, won't be able to do so. An extra Alex will try to wrap this around past TKD, but the midfield wall has been nothing but stymieing for this Cryus offense. Phelps finally over the top will not be able to hold on to possession. Instead, they're going to go for the rope and rope around the corner. A couple of demos for the road, but will not come away with the goal on that foray. 341 to go. Double top opportunity will not connect. Phelps to score. He will. 1 0. Cryus gaming on top first. And Nation, maybe it was a double attempt, not a double tap, but it was a double commit on defense. Gets creeping up too far. It did not leap off the ground for it, but he did take that front post position. And alas, the ball goes past, drops it right in front of, <coughs> my apologies, right in front of Velops. And so Cryas get themselves on the board, coming out of that corner. They're going to look to try to get another one here quick. And force the issue, and they're going to have to do it with a couple of defensive scares in <laughs> this last push by Envious. 3.18 to go. Chill on the back end here on the Cryos side, and now TKD. Zero boost tank to work with the ink. Bells him out. Stralix center field clear, but no one's there. His chill just gets dusted, and now TKD going back down the other way. Bellop's trying to get a pass. Actually, Alex is going to be up as well. I imagine they calmed into that one. All three players for Envious... That brief group meeting centered around that midfield boost. It spawns after all of them leave. Might have been hiding behind the screen in the conference room, but it will be at a disadvantage for the moment, at least in terms of gas tank. So they head back to defense. TKD challenged quickly by Extra Alex. And Ink will try to get the challenge pass as well. This one will not be free, but it's going to be an opportunity. Ink will not get the shot. Extra Alex putting it off the post. And while the post... <laughs> may have been denying earlier. They're providing some assists here for the defense over the last couple of shots, and Getz will eventually get it. This Getz does find an opener here for NBS in game six. We're back to a 1-1 ball game. 2.24 to go, just past halftime. NBS, one win away. Can they close it out here in game six, Gator? How do you know Getz wanted the doink on that shot too, but the front flip afterwards <laughs> ended up working out, getting that follow through. This will be quickly back the other way, though. Chilla couldn't get the angle in the corner to get the pass out mid. Extra Alex will go for a more traditional pass. It'll be caught off by Get. So two minutes on. Velops quick turn up field. He wanted the bump on Ink, but the play goes the other way. TKD looking for the pass, and TKD scores! And NBS have taken the lead! 2.06 to go. NBS up one here. 2.06 remaining, and Christ Gaming's defense just falls apart there. Extra Alex a little high on the defensive save opportunity there, just couldn't get it out. 2.06 to go, plenty of time for Cryos Gaming to pull it together here in the final moments. We gotta find out, did Skyline know something we didn't? Was the prognostication there? Or did he just make something up on the spot like everybody does in interviews? Because that's what interviews are all about. But, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not a shot at Skyline though, it's just how they tend to go. But, game number six, and a one-goal lead for Envious. They're finding ways to answer, they're finding ways to get offense, ways that they really had not found through the first couple of games. The defense is going to have to stand strong, especially when they've been playing down a man a few times. The problem for Cryus is that they're extending heavily to get these demos, 
and the counterattacks have been there for Envy as an extra Alex talk about slotted there was nothing Ink could do what an angle that was a really tough shot an even tougher spot to put that shot far right corner and Ink just barely couldn't get there 126 to go we're all tied up yeah talk about squeezing it in before the door closes and bringing us back to a tied game and TKD is going to have possession on the follow-up. Takes to the skies. Inc. might have had an opportunity to get the demo onto Extra Alex, but alas, it may not matter. Gets following it up after that initial save. And Nation, we got that equalizer earlier, but NVS said, like, look, guys, we don't want to make this a habit. We want this lead back. We see all three members go for Cryos Gaming on the triple commit, and they get punished for it. And now NVS up one, 77 seconds to go. Cryos Gaming... Gotta pull it together here in the final moments. We're starting to answer this offense. It's starting to pick up quick. Phillips won't be able to reconnect with the ball. And the opportunity will escape them for now. Gets escorting it. Just taking possession, playing safe. Ink as well. Looking to get an infield pass, but you notice now the players for Envious are playing a lot further back. They're not over, they're especially not wanting to risk an overcommit. And let Cryos find something here quickly because we've seen they can score from a variety of angles. They're trying to close it off quickly, but Nation, I mean, Cryos, they got to score quick. So there's only 30 and change. 30 and change left, and now Chilla and Cryos Gaming in a do or die scenario here. It's time ticking off the clock, and they don't have a lot of boost to work with here, and NBS still have control. The bump comes through over two now, one on one. It's a long clear. It's more time off the clock here, Gator, and NBS right back on offense. Oh, and Ink almost able to find it there, but Velop's clearing it out. A rope it up from TKD, and Chilla will take it up upfield with a quick challenge from Getz. The boost advantage for Envious has been there. Now final 10 bounces from the side while Velop's has to challenge it. Chilla gets the bump onto TKD. Extra Alex looking for the doink over to the mid. Will not be able to connect. Ink is going to put it across. Chilla had the read off the ceiling, but it drops it too low. The pass does not connect. And NVS will find the connection to their place in the semifinals. NVS Esports claim the final ticket to day three, where Kool Aid Men are awaiting him tomorrow night. And I think that's going to be a really good matchup between we. <laughs> Christ Gaming and Kool Aid had, in my opinion, similar play styles. They liked to be up on offense. Kool Aid, very aggressive at NVS. They were playing a little slower pace, more. Running. They were able to find that path forward as well. I think we're in for a heck of a series tomorrow. I think we are as well, and Gator will be right back here at 7 Eastern tomorrow. Draco Esports versus New England Kings. That'll be one good series, I'm sure. I mean, we saw a very good New England Kings team today, and a big win there over UConn, and we saw Draco take full control over Dream Station. And like yesterday, Draco absolutely murdered any, the New England Kings, so we have a rematch tomorrow. But I think both the semifinal series are going to be so much fun and so close. So it's been a long day, Gator, and what a, what a stream it's been. It's been good. Obviously, hope the series would go a little bit longer, but they were delivering in the games, no doubt about that. We'll look to see how it all plays out. And folks, I think it's pretty good. I'm looking forward to seeing how it all develops. I am as well. I mean, we have Draco Esports taking on New England Kings at 7 tomorrow, followed by Cooley Men versus NVS Esports right after that. Then we have the Grand Finals. So, I mean, still a lot of Grand Circuit points in the line to play for tomorrow, but what a day, and a lot of these teams so talented, we're down to the top four. Down to the top four, and that's what they all play for. And But, Nation, we got to find out who the top one is going to be. Folks, you're not going to want to miss it. As Nation said, first matchup at 7 o'clock Eastern tomorrow. Draco Esports, New England Kings, Kool-Aid Men, and NBS then playing for their slot in the Grand Final as well. You're going to want to be here. You don't want to miss it. Do not miss it. We'll be right back here tomorrow night at 7 Eastern, twitch.tv slash blacklinecs. Thank you guys for joining us on the broadcast today. But until next time, we'll see you guys later.